Um, okay. Hank Mount is Rushmore. allergic to making anyone look good in his edits. That's what I've realized. <laughs> what are you going to say, Billy? Real quick. Two, I didn't Photoshop the fucking making you look fat. Two Mount Rushmore's ago, Chile got its first win of the season. Well, who finished second to Rosillo? I think we go with that. You guys. Oh, oh crazy. Weird. Um, well, we won Monday. We won crazy. a fucking wow. second place trophy. Okay. All right. So fine. Congrats. You know what, Chile? You guys, go, you guys go first. You guys go first and you guys decide the order. Perfect. Uh... <laughs> we give them the first they're like oh i don't know Dude, yeah last. this is great power great responsibility right here yeah uh we'll go last hank can go first you guys go second okay, okay. so this is the mount rushmore of pre-crime hank uh all right this one you know this one might cut deep to some awls but it just it uh oh opening bottles with your teeth Ooh. oh dude that's cool i do that it is it is crazy it, it, it blows my mind Glass bottles are not supposed to, like your teeth are your teeth. Those are those are valuable items of your body. You should not be opening bottles with them. No, it's a fact, I, your teeth it's, are your it's, teeth. It's concerning. Okay, it's not for everybody, but if you know it's how for to criminals. No, if you know how to do it properly, it's pretty badass. I, I would I would agree with Hank in the fact that there is a screw loose if you do it. Why yes. Right, right. Like some people I have I have a friend that would do it like do you have a bottle? I have a bottle opener. And he's like, no, let me do it with my teeth. Yeah, okay. I agree with that. And yeah. it's like, why? Oftentimes you if find you yourself without a bottle opener and then it's a great skill for me to have. In the but Right. My thing is the it, the pre-crime is the people that do it willingly and yes. like for fun. It's yes. it's cool to watch, but it's also pre-crime. Like if you're just going into your fridge, grabbing a beer and opening it with your teeth, pre-crime. I, I agree yeah. with that. Okay. I Unnecessarily opening a beer bottle. I do this teeth. all the time. I know I'm on this team. I literally do this all the time. Um, yeah, I feel a little bad about it. But it's it's cool, isn't it? I don't it? think this is a pre... I don't know. Pre-crime... Pre-crime's like a little more creepier. That's not like creepy. Well, I mean, embrace debate. You can make your pick when it's time for your team to go. Yeah. yeah. All right. Our first pick. We're going to go with owning a snake as a pet. Mm-hmm. Anyone who owns snakes, fucking... Pre-crime city. You're just waiting. You're just waiting yeah. for the snake to just escape in your house and then kill you in your sleep. It's also an animal that will never love you. Right. Why do you want to... You're basically having like, I don't know, a prisoner in your own house that wants to kill you at all times. The biggest bonding moment you have with your pet is to feed it mice to eat. That's well, so fucked up. What, no, another bonding moment that you have is when it's trying to kill you yeah. and it's wrapping itself around you. Yeah, slowly. Go ahead, Billy. Defend owning no, a snake. No, there's a, there's like they're like cuddling for body warmth because they're cold blooded and you're warm blooded. I don't know if that's mm-mm, the truth. Mm-mm, that mm-mm, that's why they mm-mm. like to like rest on. If you own a snake, I just assume at some point you will commit a crime. I've it's it's a part of your DNA. You own a snake. I owned a and, horn snake. and you and will never yeah, committed a crime. And you are definitely number one in this room for committing a crime. Ooh, what? That's actually a good question. How mm-hmm. many crimes? I thought I was a cop. Well, you're a crooked cop. That's what you are. <laughs> you are. Okay. Owning a snake is definitely a pre It's move. bad. Yeah. I don't trust people who own snakes. Can't can't be around them. Fucked up. I and, think and I'm sure there'll be some snake people who reply, and guess what? Your replies go on deaf ears. Well, you know what's crazy is that everybody has visited, like, one apartment of somebody that has a snake. Yeah. And just one time, and you never go back. Yes. I would appreciate people to tweet me pictures of their cold-blooded pets. I appreciate them. Tweet them at me. Okay. Please. I mean, we're not indicting frogs here. We're Even just the, like what, you know, when people say that's cold-blooded, they say it for a reason. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's been up. there's been a lot of anti-reptile slander dates back to the Bible. It's uh it's kind of mean. French what? people being why? called frogs. Oh, why? Why is why it slander would, or is yeah. it cuz they're facts. bad? It's facts. It's facts. I just think we shouldn't be judging. We'd still be le- living in the Garden of Eden if it wasn't for that fucking snake. No, that was that bitch Eve. Yeah. Well, she got corrupted by the snake. <laughs> uh, okay. You guys first pick. Killing small animals. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's a I mean, crime. By, by that's, textbook that's definition. Yeah. No. That is a crime. That's a crime. I was thinking about that too, but that it, like arson, like if you light a fire as a kid. Yes, no, that's, that's a, crime. a crime. You can like kill, you're allowed to like kill mice and rabbits and stuff like that's totally legal. Can you? Um, are you allowed to kill a mammal for fun? Yeah, you you've killed mice, but like take pleasure in it. I, another thing. I know. I set a mouse trap. Yeah, I didn't kill it. The trap killed it. But you're allowed to kill mice. That's legal with your bare hands. So, but you're yes. saying it's pre crime. But a rabbit. That's cre- pre crime. Is this like so? Is killing mice is, and is, men is, shit? Is setting is setting up a, a mouse trap pre crime? No, but, but that's killing, killing small animals. Right, but you guys get what I'm saying. What kind of? I don't, you give us a please, list of yeah. the animals, small animals, or an that example. You would say chipmunks. 
Mice, rabbits. You want to say dogs? No, because that's illegal. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's illegal. I don't know if it is. Frogs. I, when, Frogs. When, oh, that's scientists you. are criminals. Okay. What? All right. Yeah. I mean, no, that, that, no, it, it's a good pre-crime because it's literally, that's, that's the only point. That's it's, how serial. We're not arguing start. that it's not a pre-crime move. It just also is, might be a crime crime. It's no. actually an interesting thing to think about. Like, what are you, what are you allowed to kill with your bare hands? And when does it become a crime? Mm-hmm. Because I I, th- I think you're right. You probably are allowed to kill a mouse, but well, you're probably not allowed to like pest. shoot a rabbit with like I a feel BB like gun. Oh, yeah, you can, the crime oh, is cats. You like don't fuck with cats. Have you watch The Sopranos? Yeah, but in like you a, I guess it depends on where you are. Go cook it, it up in a nice ragu. It depends on the legality of the BB gun. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's a good pick then, because it is fucked up to kill small animals when you're a small person. Not fucked up to run on a field. I, I this is one I wish Jake could do all four picks because I think he doesn't even understand. Pre-crime. Crime. Right. And, right. like, getting in the mind of a criminal. Right. So how is he going to understand what goes in before? Not returning your library books. <laughs> All right. Cheering in the press box. <laughs> Our second pick is going to be parents who put their kids on leashes. Oh, okay. yeah. That's yeah. a good pick. Now, so you think parents or do you think the kids that are on? I think, I think it could go both. either way. Like, if you're <laughs> yeah. a kid that yeah. gets carried around on a leash your entire life, you're probably going to fuck it's some just stuff up. An interesting visual. It is. I understand that if you're in crowds, you don't want them running off, but mm. just like, I don't know. Uh, I don't, yeah. A leash on a kid is fucked up. I think maybe the only exception is if you have like seven kids. Yeah. And they're all, I don't know, four or five years old. and. But then you can then you could do the, I think there's a difference. Putting them on an actual leash is a pre-crime. Doing the, the rope hold is fine. Yeah. You know, like you see the If kids, you have a rope and everybody holds yeah, on the rope. Like yeah, like in elementary school, they're walking around the block and everyone's yes. holding on the rope. Also, just on leash talk, uh, putting a cat on a leash is also a fucked up move. I've seen that a couple times. That's yeah. a weird one. Putting anything on your cat, really. Yeah. Like clothes. Anything. Mittens. Um, okay. Bread. That can be cute. Clothes on animals Why don't you prove it? On, on a cat? Yeah. Why don't you get a cat then? Maybe I will. Okay. Um, our second pick. I can't believe this one lasted this long, actually. Uh, for pre-crime is being born in northern Austria on April 20th, 1889. <laughs> mm-hmm. Big time pre-crime. Pre-crime. I would actually like just pre-death penalty. Mm-hmm. Just kill that baby. Hank, you got it. You would found you, him. Would you, you kill that him? baby? It's nature versus nurture. Would you? Oh, you would become oh. that baby's mom. Yeah, you would hug that baby. <laughs> if I had been your mom, yeah, World War Two would have never Nothing, started. Like there was a lot of people born in that time period that were fine. Yeah, there was a. Yeah, you're doing. More, the, you're doing the like. There was a lot of good Nazis too. Yeah, not all Germans. <laughs> well, Austrians. Well, well yeah, he was I mean, also they, he went to yeah, Germany. Yeah, shortly. But thereafter. I'm saying like there was probably a lot of people born on April 20th that day that. Did not turn out to be that, a, that's collateral damage. Let's just though. say, in terms of like, uh, like the percentage ROI is probably on, more of yeah, mm, there's probably more per square capita of criminals in different places than that place. But ROI on that date in that place is very bad. Right. That's that's true. Yeah. Yeah. If we're just doing the math here, if this is the trolley problem, like maybe yeah, you got to bomb you know, that hospital. Maybe someone had like ten kids, but that's not gonna. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> kind of. The H man kind of outweighs all of the people born that Wait, day. Wait, Billy's about to do something incredibly smart. What were you saying? No, come on. Come now on, you Billy. have to say it. We're you on had, a show. You had the shit. You have grand. to say it. He commanded crimes. No, oh, Billy. Oh my no, God. no. I okay, you don't have to say it. You don't have to say it. Okay. I, I didn't. No, I didn't think it was gonna be that bad no. either. That was really bad. Okay, um, Hank. <laughs> uh, coaching a youth bas- women's basketball team without having a daughter on the team. Mm, okay. Good one. I think that goes for any yeah, gender sports. too. Yeah. 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 Without. Yeah. Like even. What's what's even no, crazier? There, there's like crime. there's like foot, you know players that used to play that are like you know come yeah. back to start or whatever. But if here, so what's the worst? Like if you're pre-crime? the head coach of a yeah. of a you know any any really eighteen or under girl like women's team and you're not you have no relation well, to anyone yeah, like, on the team like I, that's, I think that's you could, crazy. You could do it as like a high school basketball high coach. High school. High school is fine. High Youth, school and yeah. JV is fine, but like doing like if you're the little league coach and you don't have a kid on the team, Weird. that's fucked. Unless you're a former professional athlete and you're coaching, that can be kind of cool. Where yeah. You're just like trying to get all your aggression out. I mean, it's not cool, but it's still like you know, not but, as creepy. But you you would have had to have had, I think I can give even a little bit of a pass if you had a kid on the team and like, you know, say Little League, for example, your kid's now 14, but you kept on, co- like that, I might be like, okay, I guess you're just hanging on. But to have like no relation to the team, 
pre-crime. Yeah, I'm going to say that if you're like a, a youth women's gymnastics coach and you don't have a daughter, you should automatically go to jail. Mm -hmm. 100%. Like, you know how doubt. fucked up you have to be to be a gymnastics coach in general? Yep. Yep. Or dance coach. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Billy, you got another profound thought? After you just tried to absolve Hitler no, of all no, his no, wrongdoings? No, don't say that. That's not what I was saying. Larry Nasser was not that bad of a guy. Yeah. No, stop, <laughs> okay, stop, here we go. Stop. Uh, uh, Hank, your next one. Opening an offshore Isabel. banking account. That, uh, mm, that is a crime. Uh, no, it's not a no, crime. No, it's not a crime. Definitely not a crime. But it's something you do before a crime. Not necessarily. Okay. We're after I, Okay, so... It is. Why would you Hank open an, right. Why would you open an offshore bank account? Big Hank guy? is right. Why would you open an Hank offshore is bank right, account? But it's kind of a cool pre crime because it means a... you're just going to have a lot of money. No, I do not. Does anybody in this room have an offshore? I bank used account? to. I used to back way in the, back in the day uh, when gambling wasn't yeah. legalized. I used to have to go to Western Union to send yep. my paycheck to Aruba. offshore. Ka ching. Accounts. The whole thing. Thank you. Sounds like crime. That sounds exactly like crime. Well, sounds I didn't have like you needed to yeah, open the account like, yes. so you could. No, I didn't have an account. I would have to send the money. You guys are now talking about like busting people for tax evasion. I mean, that's crime. I'm not talking about busting people. He's right. Max I'm is one of those eighty-seven thousand IRS if you're gonna, agents. Uh, again, Big Cat literally proved the point. Gambling was illegal. He wanted to gamble, which was at the time a crime. So he had to open an offshore bank account before he could commit the I crime. I didn't open of the account. There wasn't an account. I had to send it to an account. Right. Yeah. But right, if you're no, I, if you're opening account, then you got that's big look, money, I, and it's I, like you're trying to avoid taxes, or you're trying to I, wash money. I'm gonna agree with Hank. Like if if one of us walked in and was like, "Hey, just uh, open up a new Swiss account," you'd be like, "Huh? Yeah, what are you doing with yeah. that?" Right, right. No, I'm that's going fair. to hide money, pick. which that's is a good crime. Pick. That's a good. Pick. Yeah, you know who else had a Swiss banking account, Hank? So thank you for feeding into mine. <laughs> um, all right, next pick. Good picks, guys. I'm just saying, there was a lot of people born that day. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so this one is um, we're gonna do uh, interacting with porn stars online, whether it be the comments section or buying them like gifts off their Amazon yes. gift list. Yeah, big time pre crime. Yeah, there's a bunch of things that fall into this one. The Amazon gift wish list thing is just bizarre. Um, retweeting porn stars online is fucking weird. It's like I want other people to see this porn too. Um, liking. Porn tweets is also very strange, and then replying and be like, "Show feet, baby." Yeah, that's all of the above. Or like, "You look really hot today." Remember that red sweater guy from the debates? Ken Bone. Ken, Ken Bone. Bone. Well, no, he just was no. into pregnant. Former porn. Takey presenter. Yes, former Takey presenter. He was just into into prego porn. The Amazon you gift lists are just wild. It's like I'm gonna buy my favorite porn star. Uh, like a vacuum cleaner for her house, um, and hopefully she'll fuck me. Um, one of the saddest things I've ever seen. This kind of goes in the, the same direction. Um, there was this girl that I knew in college, and she was nice. She had a boyfriend, and she had a friend that was just always around her and creeping on her. And he bought her a vibrator, Oof. just to be like, "Hey, I think that like this is a very sexually healthy thing for you to have." And he was just the biggest simp in the world. Yeah. It's like ultimate simp behavior. Yes. Is, is yes. buying something. Never buy a woman anything is the moral of my story. Um, That was Stephen Che. His brain is broken. I, he said that someone someone brought in lunch today, empanadas. And he's like, do you want me to grab some for everyone? And I was like, yeah, just leave it outside. We're recording. And he just opened the door. So his brain is broken. Sorry for the interruption there by Stephen Che. Um, yeah, that's, that's fucked up, PFD. I know. That's pre-crime. Pre-crime. All right. Going around the snake. Our turn? Yeah. So we're going with going on 4chan. Which mm. you do. You do I all do the time. I do not go on 4chan. You said, I think I, literally okay, so two days ago, you said that you have been on 4chan. So we, we yeah, have killing I, frogs and going on 4chan. <laughs> Billy, are no. you just giving us your manifesto? No, 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 no. Come on. Relax. I don't go on 4chan. For the record, you can look through my computer. What's 4chan? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of it. Looking it's it a up. terrible place. Like oh, they're gonna come after your ass now. Oh, I've been fighting them already. Oh, so you, but you haven't been on. No, I, no, no. Where are you fighting them? I thought you're supposed. To, aren't you like anti-regulations? Yeah, like, you know that's one. Yeah, of the last, but last, just, one of the last safe spaces on the internet. It, Free speech, like, baby. Yeah, it's it's pretty. Actually, well, even worse is eight chan. Yeah, it gets fucked up. It is pretty. Yeah, I mean, it's if you're going on there, you're going. If you're, you're going, going on, on any for, chan. Yeah, I feel like it, it is progressing though. Like four chan might not be. As, I don't know anything about 4chan it. 4chan is not as it, bad as 8chan. So, yeah. So, the, the higher the number of the chan, the worse the people there are. Yep. Is that fair to say? Exactly. Okay. okay. Um, your next pick. Finish subject. Do you like this one, Billy? 
Yes, we need Jake's. Onlychance.com. Jake's. That should be the next Jake's. website. Jake's. Yeah. Oh, to get no. the dankest oh, memes. Yeah. Oh, Did you do that? If it's hot, yeah. <laughs> that was that was uh, that was figuring out if they were gonna pick eating pizza with a knife and fork. Yeah, but sometimes you do it on the top. Okay. So I'm gonna do uh, <laughs> scra- scraping. Uh, no, no, no. Yes, yes, scraping yes, yes. cheese off of it. Scraping no, cheese no, off pizza. No, no. <laughs> scraping uh, cheese off. Drinking straight tequila. Okay. No. What? <laughs> what? The world? Okay. Both Wait, yeah, are just bad give them picks. Five slots. I'll get. Yeah. Give me, you guys get both those picks. <laughs> those are so bad. I'm not. I'm not. Afraid I mean, that of is so people do that every single day. Yeah. If you're gonna scrape the cheese off. Why are you ordering the Jake, pizza? Jake, you're the king of like watching your yeah, figure yeah, yeah. and like making, pizza. you know, I want to, you know, I want to eat something bad, but I don't want to eat too bad. So I'm going to scrape the cheese off. Like, is that, is that's that right up your by the way, pizza. The fact that, 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 that Billy makes all these 4chan comments and then immediately like scraping cheese off pizza. That sounds like some deep state, like Hillary Clinton pizza yeah. gate shit that you guys are. What does that mean? Scraping cheese off pizza? Like, <laughs> not, Billy? Uh, like just taking the cheese off the pizza before eating it. You just eat the dough and. Some leftover sauce. Okay, and then also you get so drinking like mozzarella stick. drinking tequila, which yeah, is like not even stick. close to pre-crime. So Drink, taking no, a shot drinking, of tequila? No, taking a shot of tequila, no chaser, no nothing, just not, drinking tequila. Just taking a shot of tequila. So I, t- I did just, pre- you just never had good tequila. Yeah, so in, Ever. Your, in your eyes, like Kenny Chesney is Hitler then. Yeah. This is the, the of all your 23-year-old takes, this might be your most 23-year-old no. take to be like tequila, gross. No, I drink tequila. <laughs> I just the thing is I've been told it's a pre crime when I do it. Wait, by I, who? Did you go with Jake? No. Yeah. I just was like Wait, so in your mind you you drink tequila. I had to think of something quickly because Jake was about to scrape cheese off pizza. You crushed it. Yeah. yeah. You got why <laughs> he said that before. He yes. said tequila before the pizza. Yeah, thing. that's true. That why? is Okay, so those are your last two picks. Good job, guys. You we'll Fuck. give you we'll give you five picks on this one. Uh okay, Jeez. PFT, our last pick. <laughs> Okay, um, our last pick is adult autograph seekers. Mm-hmm. We've seen them recently at Bill's training camp yes, when they were just like know. throwing shit yes, onto the field, especially the ones that show up with their suitcases filled with stuff and they run their operation like Oliver Twist and they send their little orphans out to go get autographs and bring them back. That um, is a crime. Yeah, those guys are... What? How's that a crime? They're hustling. Ex- they're trying to make a buck. No, no, that is... They, that is Adult autograph seekers, if you just r- wrangled them all up and like had a conference with them, you'd be like, crime, 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 crime. Can I change? No, so what no. we're saying is like doing doing this act. Yes, I, I want to hear crime, what you say, but you can't. But I guarantee, it. like Big Cat says, if you look at the average profile, yes, they're committing all sorts of other Correct. crimes. Correct. Correct. They got their fingers in a lot of pies. They are most likely to commit a crime, which is pre crime. Uh, what? Go ahead, Billy. This, I'm replacing our last. No, one. You yeah. Can, I mean, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll let you add on. So okay, yeah, yeah, even another right, one on that last yeah, you get one. Six. Keep talking. Getting a massage. Nope. Yep. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. There we go. You've never gotten a massage? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's making a Deshaun Watson joke. Uh, I've never got I've never gotten a massage where you like go in a private room. Ugh, gross. Fine. Someone put so what, you're just doing like orgy show massages? Up in the lobby, no, no, like lie <laughs> down in the lobby chairs and, like, and the they athletic come out to you? training room. You get massages like with with like forty. It's a gangbang of people getting massages. <laughs> this is another That's another twenty three year old take. Massages are pretty cool and private, Honestly, extremely yeah. private. Yes, like training massages I get, but I don't know. It's kind of what like, about a couples massage? What? Don't your body gets stressed? I know it's kind of. I don't know. You're like a muscle this guy. This is Isn't I love. Like, I love you, Billy, because this is like I'm. I'm like, just getting to watch to a, a like room. what your my what your idea of like alpha and tough is is so funny because it's like you're gonna. I don't think you're gonna I'm write. Just, I mean, I was making it to Sean Watson. Joke. You're gonna write us a letter when you're our age and be like, I'm sorry. Somebody, like, everything you, you guys are right. Like getting massages, pretty nice. I, I, I know I bet it's nice, nice, but like pre crime. I literally <laughs> told Billy that yesterday. I was like, right now, when you're my age, you're gonna look back at yourself and be like, wow, I didn't know it all. Yeah, no, I knew nothing. <laughs> I knew nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, I get the joke. There are some people that have replied to me when I talk about Deshaun Watson, be like, what have you you ever been to a massage parlor, man? You ever got a rub and tug? It's like, no, no, I haven't. <laughs> so, I, I literally have not. Yeah. If, if someone's going to get like massages constantly, it's kind of weird. Agreed. I I would say like I'm not constantly. defending Deshaun Watson what he did was fucked up, but again, there is far more athletes, especially high, like right, football players room, that need yeah. massages. Well, in the training room, like Deshaun wrong. Watson is the outlier of like scumbags that like fucked I, like was an asshole, but like there's a lot of athletes that like massages are good. Massage? I, I but that 
but that's also like that. I'm not a training athlete. Like if my muscle, <laughs> if I was working my muscles, like every every time I've got, I've, I've probably gotten, gunned myself. I've probably gotten five massages in my life. Every time I've gotten one, I've been like, I should do that more because I feel fucking way better. Like my neck isn't stiff, my my shoulders don't feel like they're holding everything. Like, and it's standard practice for for athletes. Yeah, I should I I should get more massages. I used to get deep tissue massages all the time. When there I we played, go. When I played baseball Look in college, at, I'm a little surprised that you haven't actually. Wow, how oh, oh, girl? How good an athlete oh. were you? Let's go, back girl. I got massages in the training room. Oh wow, in front of everybody. Wow, but like I you, got massages, just not. So they knew you weren't gay. I, I think it, I think <laughs> it's fine. Like getting massages is. A completely normal thing to do. Correct. It, now, but if you become a massage guy that yeah. gets them all the time, that is weird. I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have six back picks. Girl, sounds like you were a pretty good college athlete. Uh, one year college baseball. How many dingers? Three dingers. Damn. I was the Matt Stairs of college baseball. Oh, hell yes. Pinch hitter, pinch hitter who only tried to hit bombs. I love it. That's fucking... I like that. All right. Uh, you guys have six picks. Do you want to add a seventh? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Downloading Tor browser. Okay. Which you probably also have done. <laughs> I I've never even heard of that. <laughs> well, where, like, where did you You always talk about the deep that. web, Billy. You're a deep web guy. <laughs> this is great. Do you have another it's, one? Can you have another one? So, so we always joke around with Billy about how every time he talks, he incriminates himself, even when, like, if we're interrogating we're him about, about something. In this one, it's explicitly pre-crime and you just keep listing things that you have done. Yes. I have never downloaded Tor. <laughs> oh, how do you know man. what it is? Because I know what it's used for. How? To get to the Silk Road. Because I watched the documentary. I think, you've, I think you have downloaded encrypted browsers. No. You're Mr. Duck, Duck, Duck Go. Yeah, like yeah. If you're telling me you haven't bought steroids off one of these websites, I'm calling bullshit. I haven't. Okay. Hey, you want an eighth. This is the last one you can get. Guys, you, would you like an eighth? Jake? Empty Nothing? the clip, Billy. No, okay. let Jake go. Let Jake go. Come on. Jake, empty the clip. Jake, come on. Give us one last I one. I don't have anything. Billy, on. Billy had one more. Yeah, let the chopper Billy say. Billy had Billy. one more? Well, yeah, you emphasized it. Let, re- oh, watching anime. Oh okay. my god, right. dude! Nice. Anime is great. <laughs> okay, are you an anime guy? <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. I mean, it's like, it's it's entertain. It's a show. Yeah, like it's yeah. a form of show. Huge I've never overlap into it. of four chan and anime. Yeah, yeah. I've never. I don't think I've ever watched an anime. I, I mean, I, I watched Dragon Ball Z as a kid, which I learned after the fact is an anime, but I fucking love that show. All right, Hank, your team's last pick. Uh, we're gonna go with. Eating fish for lunch in the office. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. Should I be like a crime. It. Yeah, should be. A, yeah, should it be should a real be crime. a real crime. Yes, it's definitely pre-crime. Yes. Like you just have no standards or like you know, empathy for any of your coworkers or peers. Yep, yep. And you're likely to commit a crime afterwards. What about yeah. like a fried fish sandwich that you order from I don't know Popeyes or something? Fillet fish. That's not as bad. Yeah, no. It's, you're talking tuna fish. You're, you're talking, talking like actual fish, salmon, I'd like say, heated up. I'd say yeah. tuna salads, okay. Yeah, tuna salads, salads fine. Okay. Anything in the microwave. Yep. Sushi's fine, right? Sushi's, Sushi's fine. fine. Yep, yep. Hot yeah, I would fish. say like if you order something from Popeyes. Yeah, but like if you're getting McDonald's fillet of fish for lunch, that is that's kind of pre-crime. Could be Catholic. Yeah, yeah. Um, which could also be pre-crime. Correct. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, anything we missed? Anything we missed? I had uh, uh, wearing socks during sex. That's just a weird thing that I feel like, I don't know, there's something going on there. Like it, Billy, it, do you do that? Intentionally wearing yeah, socks. Like, yeah, because like, I'm not going to take off my happens. socks. Yeah, but like sometimes you're just, you know. Yeah, just being like, I'm going to keep my socks on because we're having sex. You know That's who does that? Who? Nelly. Ooh. Nelly says, like, when Nelly's fucking, it's only the socks and the chain that yeah. stays on. Uh, getting really into clowns. Or being a clown. Or being a clown. John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. Uh, owning more than two cats, mm-hmm. I had. Yep. Listening to insane clown posse. I don't know. You're not. You're not a ninja. You're not a juggalo. No. Billy I, just. I, I'm not. Yeah. Uh, ICP, ICP is definitely pre crime. I think ICP the the juggalo community they get a bad rap. Yeah, I think they they're do. very positive. They're welcoming. Yeah, they're very welcoming. I think you need to open. Your, we should send Billy to gathering of the juggalos. That would go well. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, uh, buying low top Air Force black Air Force ones. Yep. I agree. That yeah, game. that's definitely pre-crime. High tops are fine. Uh, the people whose entire personality is that they really go all out at Christmas time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pre-crime. Um, ignoring a dog when it's trying to be friendly to you. Eddie. Eddie. Mm-hmm. If a dog comes up and like snuggles and you just completely act like the dog's not there. Yeah. Jail. Yeah. Being coached by Urban Meyer. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn, that's a great one. Whose pick was that? 
I was try. I asked for like a, we should think of an Aaron Hernandez one, and, and memes sent out back. That was Damn, a great that's pick. A great by pick. Memes. I can't great believe pick. you iced him out. Uh, if you're pick. a guy and you get your nipples pierced, yeah, yeah. Uh, doing you guys are kink shamers. Doing baby talk to like uh, animals that you don't own, like you're not your or pet. your or your significant other or your significant other. Baby talk Publicly. definitely, yeah, but yeah. Public wait, baby talk. Wait, what if what if you see a dog? If Whitey was in here and I went up to Whitey, I go, who's a good boy? That. You're if you away. keep on going though, like that, just one line, sure. But yeah. like, if you go full baby talk to a dog that y is not your dog, I think that's kind of pre-crime. Because I always have to ask a dog who. The yeah, good that's boy is. That, uh, a simple question. It's not pre-crime. But if you keep on going, you're like, oh, wait, you have a good day today, yo, Whitey, what you doing, waiter? Who, who's fl <laughs> who's fluffy wheel tail is yeah, this? Yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's your fluffy tail. Yeah, that's that's. Uh, that's yeah, you're right. I want to lock myself <laughs> yes, off right now. Yes. Um, if you're a certified elite level reviewer on Yelp. Mm. It's pre crime. Yeah. yeah. Although those people kind of the silent guardians of the internet. In a way. <laughs> In a way. In a way. Um, okay. Anything else? Unironically tweeting at airlines. Yep. Yep. That big time pre crime. Pre big time pre crime. Being like or, or unironically complaining to any type of uh like account on Twitter that, you know, mm -hmm. trying to get like free shit, Chrissy Teigen. Uh owning a puppet. No, you're talking about um What's her name? Kelly Kapoor Kelly from The Kapoor. Office. Kelly Kapoor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 I forget yep, her yep. name. She did that. Uh, yep. If you own a puppet. Mindy Kaling. You're Mindy Kaling. You own a puppet, yeah. jail. Puppet. Puppet and multiple puppets. Or, yeah, yeah ventriloquist. Yeah, that's an art. That's yeah. a big That's mess. an art form. Yeah, that's a pre-crime. Um, okay, good Mount Rushmore. Uh, taking socks off on a plane was the other one. Oh, oh dude, good, I saw a guy the other day. I do day. take my shoes off, though. There was a guy the other day. I think it was when we were flying back from Denver. Socks and shoes off. Went to the bathroom. Oh. Ooh. It was wild. I was like, what is going on? I do. I, I've, I think I the, the Chicago guys did something and I was defending. I do take my shoes off because I fall uh, asleep. Flight over and, over two, three hours, I think. Yeah. Like I'm, I always fall asleep and I, for, for whatever reason, it's easier to fall asleep with your shoes off. Yeah. I, uh, I don't like that. I don't like that move. I think a long, long distance flight, you can take your shoes off. I think off. shoes but stay like that's, on. You're saying your socks are like. So my socks yeah. are clean. I don't know. I'm not. I'm just not a foot guy. Maybe if I could see if you brought slippers onto a plane, you change into your slippers. Just like put something over your feet. Socks. Yeah. I mean, I understand. That's, that's, I understand how yes, illogical correct. what I'm socks. saying is, but there's just something to me about seeing somebody in socks on a plane where I'm like, ah. Uh. Yeah.